Hello, peace and blessings, family. It is your girl, Ayana, coming to you with another video. Today, we are gonna be talking about the science of melanin, okay? First and foremost, if you look, you know, do a little research, melanin is $353 to $460 per gram, okay? And gold is only worth $60 per gram, any, you know, 59.47, $60 per gram. So anybody walking around here with a little bit of melanin, a whole bunch of melanin, know that you're a walking gold mine, okay? Worth millions of dollars. Okay, we are going to be embracing none. We are not going to be doing any skin lightening, anything like that. We're embracing all of it. All of it. Okay? <laughs> and I'm not, disclaimer, I'm not saying that those who do not have melanin are less than those that do have melanin. Like, you know, better than, worse than. But I, we are not going to deny the value, the intrinsic value and the beauty that is the, mo the molecule of melanin and melanated people. We're not going to act like they don't have any value, period. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Before we get into the video, I want to um, kind of bring to the attention the tragic occurrences that have been happening within america black men women and children are going missing and their bodies are coming up um, without any reproductive gastrointestinal organs or brain yes and i couldn't help but make this correlation between the value of pure melanin and the amount of brothers and sisters that are going missing so i really wanted to bring to the attention to the public of the science and the benefits of having melanin you know it's not just you can go out in the sun and not put sunscreen on it's much more <laughs> much much more melanin is a biopigment and it is a base molecule for a lot of the bodily functions that occur um especially with the pigmentation of the skin, hair, and eyes, as well as the photo protection of them. And along with these bioprotective and um, photoprotective and pigmentation, there are two types. There is pheomelanin, which is characterized by red hair and freckles, and eumelanin, which is characterized by um, varying shades of brown and darker pigments. But there's also a third type of melanin that occurs in humans, and it is called neuromelanin. And this can be found within uh, the mid, the middle parts of the brain, particularly the penile gland. <laughs> we'll get into that a little bit. The purpose of neuromelanin is to protect against um, neural damage. And acts almost as, as a coating on particular parts of um, the membranes of the intestines as well as membranes of molecules and sometimes what I found through this research DNA as well. Particularly with the penile gland it's important to note that it is the source of the, the production of melatonin you know that sleepy molecule but it's not its only job is not just you know to produce stuff that makes you sleepy the penile gland also plays an important role in almost every function of the body the penile gland also plays an important role to determine expansion of consciousness and awareness you know kind of governing the the strength of the body's own electromagnetic field and it is important to note that kids those of african descent have a 15 to 5% rate of calcification of the penile gland, while those of European descent have anywhere between 60 to 80% rate of calcification. Melanin, you know, already, already has the ability to absorb UV rays by the sun, and having an increased amount of melanin within the eyes, skin, and hair is a dominant trait. 
our ancestors had to be outside obviously and having this darker pigment uh, protected them from the damage of their skin and their eyes and acted like a cooling factor um, that protected the in internal organs. The internal neuromelanin, the increased amount of it uh, protects against DNA damage and acts as a promoter of passing on dominant traits. This may be obviously darker uh, pigments within the skin, hair, and eyes, but also um, more dominant traits of height and physical strength. And our ancestors had to work in very physically demanding um, climates and working conditions. Physical strength that has been passed on from our ancestors from then, even before um, when cultivating great civilizations in Africa, that physical strength has been passed on to us today. I ain't gotta tell you that it's also expressed in sports, okay? Who do you see that makes up the majority of major sports teams? Basketball, uh, track, uh, long distance, you know, ultra marathon running, uh, football, I ain't gotta tell you. Also with this increased amount of neuromelanin that protects the DNA, it also fortifies um, the storage of information that can be held within the uh, DNA structures. Not only are there genotypes and phenotypes, you know, that just express us, not only that, but it is widely known that the emotional experiences as well as um, the habits and the lives that they live is also stored within their own DNA and has the ability to be passed down into us. And then we're gonna get into the vibrational side. This is kind of inspired by the melanin theory. Um, because melanin absorbs large amounts of UV rays, it is important to understand that UV rays that are emitted by the sun are also part of the electromagnetic spectrum. The absorption capacity that melanin has is not only limited to that little sliver of UV rays that are in the electromagnetic spectrum. It's a very, very wide ray of the spectrum. Having increased amounts of melanin, we can absorb these other forms of vibrations and energy and convert that energy um, into in ways that the nervous system uses to benefit the body uh, or benefit our own electromagnetic field. Those that have more and more in up to being connected with the um, natural environmental emissions of um, energy. These are the kind of like the sources of energy um, that melanin can absorb and use in the nervous system or you know within our own aura so there's sound obviously born to dance you know when music's playing you can't just you know you can't just sit down you gotta move and dance and joke and be playful because that that sound is converted into energy for us and another source can of this energy can also be sunlight obviously <laughs> uh melanie has the characteristics to be biophotonic bio meaning life photon meaning light light uh, the sunlight can help produce more melanin within the skin and the insides of the body also another source of energy is eating more higher vibrational foods things that are also biophotonic but it's also biophotonic fruits and vegetables <laughs> especially those with more chlorophyll and chlorophyll is you know a kind of what melanin is for people chlorophyll gives the pigmentation for you know flowers and vegetables and fruits and things like that it is also theorized that those with more melanin have a deeper connection you know through the penile gland to access ancestral planes my video cut off several times but yes access to higher levels of consciousness and the ancestral realm and the good example of this a uh, good imagery is when t'challa um from black panther goes into the ancestral realm to speak to his father on different occasions 
You may have been asking, where are my superpowers? It's December 4th, 21st, where are my superpowers? Aren't black people supposed to be getting powers? But no, know that you already had these powers within your DNA. We're just ignoring them. We just have not been told the true value and benefits of having increased amount of melanin that is already within within us that people are paying hundreds of dollars for you are worth more than gold so melanated people please continue to embrace yourselves you know embrace the power that you have within you black history month is coming up so please continue to share this video like comment and subscribe i'll be coming out with many more videos about the black mind uh, consciousness so please thank you for watching and have a good day